Hello, I have just arrived in London. I'm at London Heathrow Airport and today I'm heading down to Cornwall via railway. So it's the first time I'm doing this and I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along with me on the journey. I've just stepped outside at Terminal 3. I'm about to head back in and head to the train station. So let's go. I thought I'd make a little voiceover for this. Getting to the train station was super easy. I just followed these blue signs. I went into this big box building that was out in front of the terminal and down to level, I think, negative one. And from this point, it was only about a five minute walk to the Heathrow Express station. I had a transfer here, so my route was the Heathrow Express to London Paddington and then London Paddington to Bodmin Parkway. And what I hadn't realized at the time is that I could use my Heathrow Express ticket at any time. So I was actually able to catch the 8 o'clock train instead of the 11.30 train I was originally scheduled for. Here I am on the Heathrow Express. It was only about a 15 minute ride. It was super easy, clean, and quick. Because I arrived at Paddington Station early, I was able to get an earlier train into Bodmin Parkway. My ticket did cost just a little bit more, but I was able to just pay the difference and it was absolutely worth it because it saved me two hours of my transfer time. For the rest of my transfer time, I enjoyed looking around Paddington Station. There were plenty of cute shops to go into as well as this little cafe. I grabbed a latte and did a little work while I waited for my train to arrive. riding on Great Western Railway and here is a look at the train. Very clean, there were plenty of seats available and I was able to snag a seat right by the window. Although they do offer a snack trolley, I did bring my latte from the cafe in my little thermos here, so I was able to enjoy that while taking in all the sights. We made a couple of stops before the real scenic part of the journey began. It was very pretty, lots of countryside and bodies of water. Unfortunately, the train in front of us had a delay and therefore we had a delay and it kind of just messed up the route for the rest of the trip. But luckily we made it to this really pretty point in the journey here. This is the view from Exeter to Plymouth and this was what made the trip very special for me. Just really pretty water views and it definitely made the train worth it, even despite the delays. I stopped filming here, but stay tuned for a little review from the next day. Hello, it's the next day. Picking up where I left off, I did end up getting off at Plymouth Station. They announced after all the delays that they would no longer be stopping at Bodmin Parkway on the train I was on and I would have to take a transfer at Plymouth to Bodmin Parkway. But in doing so, that would have added on, I believe it was about a 45 minute transfer time at Plymouth Station. So my boyfriend just came and picked me up. Our final destination was Newquay, which there is a train that actually can take you to Newquay, but the transfer would have been at Bodmin Parkway. And when I was originally booking this whole train ride, I just wanted to avoid as many transfers as possible. And I think it's only about a 20 minute drive from Newquay station to Bodmin Parkway so it wouldn't have added on that much but in the end I did make it back here in one piece and I'm super excited to be back in Newquay. I have plans to film lots of fun Cornwall content so if you're interested be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can follow along for all of those new videos to come. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it a little bit helpful if you've never taken the train before. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys for the next video. Bye!